<clears throat> All right, we should be recording now. So, <clears throat> as you can see, we've got ourselves just logged in. There's my mods. Uh, you guys probably got like half a glimpse of that. It doesn't matter. I'm just not lugging key vines and farming queue. That's all. So, uh, wow, took a sweet time on that update. Okay, so I got my mods loaded. I do not have five pages. <laughs> that is a visual glitch. Yeah, see. Um, you can have up to five pages, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, there we go. That was a brief view of what it looks like when you have your uh, market uh, loaded without mods. It just It's just delete. It's the only option. There's no announce, none of that. Um, so I was looking over some of my old uh, videos. Specifically the mods one, and you know, I was I was going over them, just looking, and this guy, this this dude, Instar, this this dude, what the hell, man. Hey, you know what I'ma do? You know what I'ma do? I'ma go all out on this dude. Alright, check it. 15052. That about 2. Minus 50. That's what I'ma charge. <laughs> That's my profit margin. 50 coins per helmet. I'ma do that right now. Let me remove digit grouping. Copy. Transactions. The guy's saying where I grew up. Keep in mind, where I grew up, it was like 40% black. <laughs> okay, for the whole town, it was almost half the town was black people. So keep that in mind. And in the best respect possible, this nigga. <laughs> He trying to mess with the biz, man. I it's cool, it's cool. There's my price. <laughs> he wanted to mess with the biz. He messed. And the biz messed back. <laughs> okay. Make offer. Okay. Then we got Iron Helmet. You guessed it. Okay, I checked these earlier. This dude undercut me, straight up. All of it. Okay. I checked. This dude done did it. So, I'm gonna I'm get him. Okay? He, he wanted price war. I mean... It ain't my war, but I'll wage it, sure. <laughs> One four eight, divided by two, minus fifty. Okay, I'll undercut him by four. That's my cut. You know, my cut is fifty coins. You're seeing it right here. I'm I'm doing it right on camera. I don't care. I do it. Okay. He might even be watching. Hey -oh. Or to represent the Native American blood, my veins. How do you do? I don't care. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, you know, I'm just chilling. Uh, as you can see, it's sunset. It is currently. 827? Really? Only 827. Okay. 
So it's 827. You guessed it, you undercut me on the full helm too. By one coin. He did the one coin thing. I mean, seriously, the one coin thing, really. One coin? Hi. You can do your one coin. Go five, three, six. Divided by two. Minus fifty. Two, two, one, eight. That just goes to show how low my profit margin already was. Okay, it was that low <laughs> already. And yeah. I mean, it's just ponying up a little, a little bit extra. No biggie. And today, y'all are gonna get a nice little treat. Uh, not all of them. We'll grab 19 for now. Um, I'm actually not going to do a skill quest today. Not on this video. Some of you older players already know what I'm getting at. <laughs> you knew that before I hit page 2 though. That's right, I'm gearing up. And I kind of like this song. I could use the Hecka King. I could. But if I recall correctly, dragons, specifically the red variety, have a uh, resistance to magic. So, wiki, mob, name, ruby, dragon. Sort of by level. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. <laughs> um. It's not doing the mouse over thing on dragons. Okay. I mean, it does it on everything else. <laughs> that would be a good drop. Now. One thing to note, um, in two videos back now, I mentioned that uh, raw pearl clams have a pretty low drop rate. Abysmal, in fact, is a good word. Um, that rate does eventually go down to zero, so I do recommend, while you have the chance, go for the rod. Okay? While you have the chance. Some certain players to name at least one Cantus um, he's a popular name he says don't even bother you. but um <clears throat> it's kind of a pick your play type of thing I suggest going for it because the window is limited time and it is the best cooking experience in the game. There's a reason that it's worth 25 grand on the market. It's only worth two grand to this NPC right here. That guy. Okay, it's only worth two grand to that guy. Okay? But this guy, on the other hand, this market guy, not the quest master, he doesn't care. Um, <laughs> but to the market, those guys will pay 25 grand. Yeah, so look at these some look at these prices. 1.5. Almost 1 million. That's a staff. There's a sword. 1.15. Chanted Chaotic Blade. It's actually not a very high level sword. That's that's my last blade, actually, I think. No, that's my current blade. <laughs> that's what my sword's worth. Wow. That is terrible. My sword sucks. My, my gear is cheap. All of a sudden, my gear is cheap. Go figure. 
Sucks. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, it just, it gets me. Okay? All of a sudden, I'm looking at my gear going, that's cheap. And I just caught myself doing it, and it, it just hit me. You know? That's, uh, that's, that's gonna take some getting used to. All of a sudden, my gear is cheap. Okay, um, ignore that. That's some game console thing that they have here. Not a bad thing, but, you know. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm currently loaded up with bamboo fabric. Fire Missile Medallions. I'm actually going to unload all plus. <sighs> Grab 19. Page 2. And, uh, you know, I think I will. I think I will actually go ahead and grab the Hecka Cape. I mean, I could grab my wings, but I'm, I'm going to go with the Hecka Cape. Now, you may notice, I am once again on the Griffin. But if you've been paying attention over the span of my videos, which I know you haven't, by this point, my average watch time on my videos is two and a half minutes, guys. Two and a half minutes. We've probably been recording longer than that already. Let me see. Yeah. Eleven minutes. Eleven and a half minutes. So already I'm past your attention span. So, thank you for watching this long. And, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so if you've been paying attention, I had a baby griffin. Keyword. Had. Um, that's the baby griffin now. The other griffin that I had evolved into a royal griffin and I sold it. Remember how I mentioned that I failed that first take? Well, in that first take, the baby griffin evolved or the griffin evolved into a royal griffin and now I'm leveling up this one and when this one evolves, then I can switch back to this bad boy. <laughs> this is one of two recommendations that people give out. Um they say either this one or the other one. The other one being the Fireheart Dragon. I don't like the Fireheart Dragon. A, he looks nothing like a dragon, okay? He looks, in my opinion, not very good. Let's just put it that way. Not very good. Um, <laughs> they say if you don't have anything nice to say about something, don't say anything. So we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure they tried. How's that? Uh, so, I don't actually need these boots. I don't really need the armor. I don't need these boots either. I don't need the aim. <laughs> I'll just stick with my speed boots. Um, they give me a little armor. Some people may notice I have sapphire gloves. Never use them. They give aim. They give armor. But... They don't give power. These give power. And aim. And armor. <laughs> I'll stick with the power. Um, let's see. What is left? A lot of stuff. Most of which is probably in page 3. So, I could be wearing a party hat, but I'm not gonna. Could be wearing the devil cape, but I'm not gonna. I could be bringing the enchanted dragon wings. They look rather nice, but no. Ruby dragon wings? No. I'm gonna hold on to it until I'm fletching level 200 to test out that little crafting recipe that's way up there. Uh, that's, as they say in EN chat, soon trademark. <laughs> really? Really? Zero? <laughs> really? 
Really? Let me let me uh, let me double check that. Hold on. <laughs> let me just search everything. Raw rat meat, hayseed. I'll buy the hayseeds. Yeah, sure. Two coins each. That's NPC price. Sorry, I'm getting distracted like this. It's just, you know, sometimes. Wait, how much was it? This is 15 each. That's 750 percent for grass. Yeah. Hey, yes, grass. Eh. <laughs> I can, I can buy copper. Why would I? Oh, right. I know what he's doing. He's preying on people who are too lazy. Yep. He knows better. <laughs> he's he's doing it on purpose. A bouffant. Yeah. Fifteen per cut. Nice. Fifteen coin cut. So he gets almost fifty percent uh, commission. That's not bad. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's hasty. I've done that. I have done that. But I won't do that. I'll buy the hay seats. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's making a few trips to rack blood. That is Utsu. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Have fun in rack blood. Whoever you are. <laughs> and thanks for the coins. Now, um, for those interested, currently Joseph's offer for tomatoes is not up. Ah, Venice, right there. I always wondered what it is. Looks like nice wings. Apparently, you're not the only one with them. <laughs> That other guy, Zachary, something, and yeah, doesn't matter. So, okay, so I've got that, that, that. I need, oh, I need my pouch, of course. Got all my mage gear on, and I'm not even using my pouch. <laughs> okay, so, you know, I don't actually need the large, but I'm gonna use it. I, um,. <clears throat> Kind of ran out of spots. <laughs> um, do I have cotton? I might have cotton. Let me check. Uh, no, I think I sold my cotton. Darn. I could use some fire missiles and fire bolts. Both. Five hundred. Really? Really? Uh, that's a lot of coin to front there. Maybe if you cut back on the count, you'd be able to get a lot more offers there. Because um, then you could up the price. Zachary, 148. Ah, that's what he did. Why are you holding a pitchfork? Oh, I know what he's doing. He's holding two items because my guess is he's got his pet, which brings him up to 39 inventory plus 15, which makes it 55. And while that no, he probably doesn't have that. He's he's probably got Bazir. That would be what? 16, 17 spaces? Even if it's less. He may or may not even be using it. Um so there's that. Anyway, let's get going. He's basically keeping his inventory a non divisible of three. That's what he's doing. And so we're going to ooh, ooh. That's that's a need of replenishing next time I'm in that area. Eesh. 
Oh, yeah, we're gonna need food, aren't we? I don't really need to be buying anything once I get there, so I'm just pop in and run off. Draw all of that. Maybe like these. Yeah, I can make do with these. Oh, that was it? Really? That was all my inventory? <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm storing a bunch of potions then. Okay. And that should hold me up. That really should. That should do it. I pop into here. Got my 50 magic experience. Double from the double experience. And here we are. Welcome to Narwa. Um, there's Felon Island. Pardon y'all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I do that a lot. Sorry, sorry. We just killed the best man! Sorry! <laughs> yeah, Money Python. Great stuff, great stuff. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah. Since I'm using a large pouch, it has three slots. Three slots, so is it right up there? Three magic slots. Right hand, 60 magic. Value 90,000, obtained from crafting it in forging. Uh, obtained as a drop or from a great or best present. Because it has three slots, the capacity is 1,000 times the number of slots per spell. So, this fire missile, for example, has a capacity of 3,000. Fire bolt, capacity of 3,000. And I think at one point I had fire wave, uh, or blast, I'm not sure which. It's whichever one comes after missile. And that one, again, 3,000. Um, I'm going to want... Uh... I'm gonna want these. And then I just come out to here. And make sure you go out there. Um, so there's Felon Island. That's where you purchase the ticket to access Felon Island. There's the Narwa Farmer. There's the harpoon spots for wooden harpoon. That's actually like the best spot <laughs> for wooden harpoon. Um, there might be better in the fishing guild, but I haven't reached the fishing guild yet. I wouldn't know. So, yeah. Why am I lagging so badly? Let me, let me screw around with the video settings real quick. Uh, okay, so I got that set to that. And let me do a ping haul. Ping haul. Okay, according to this, World 2 and World 6, World 7, World 1. I'm going to go with World 6. World 6. Yeah, it was recently the 5th anniversary. Uh, that lasted seven days. It ended on the 28th. Currently, it is the 30th. Um, okay, this seems about the same speed. It really does. It really, really does. It seems about the same speed. So anyway, um, we'll do a talk talk. How's that sound? If you don't like it, well, um, you're free to fast forward. I'm sure there's a little scroll bar down here somewhere. You're free to scroll through. 
Um, you may have noticed the uh, video quality seems to be more stable now, but the size is stuck at 380p for its limit. And there's a reason for that. The reason is I'm on a crappy little dual core. That's the reason. <laughs> it's just not powerful enough for anything better. I mean, I could apologize till I turn blue. It won't make the computer work any better. You know, so there's that. Okay, take on this snow troll defender. Uh, these guys actually drop, uh, have the best chance, hide, to drop a troll mace, by the way. Um, I'll even do a combat analysis for those of you interested. They can deal up to 13 damage. And for those of you who know, that number does not change, no matter your stats. Um, Okay, I'm just going to assume that dude's dead. Or maybe I dropped connection. I might have dropped connection. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm apparently lagging quite a bit. <clears throat> There's that. Uh, these guys have quite a bit of magic block. Keep in mind, the combat analysis does not predict magic block. Um, or melee block, for that matter. It doesn't predict the block. Um, so these guys, for example, block half melee. So for every hit that I do, it's going to be only dealing half. And that's only so useful, you know? That's, that's very limited. Um, for a mage, that's alright, because, you know, that means you won't straight out kill him, <laughs> so you can cast out some spells before he dies. But as far as, like, a strength peer goes, they get to these ice giant kill quests, and it's chaos for them. It really is. It is as frozen of a hell as this tundra. Wow, I'm lagging so much that those guys are actually starting to respawn. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to avoid walking in front of this guy. Okay, well, I suppose I'm walking in front of him. I'll go ahead and take him out. I don't like leaving incomplete kills, because some people come out here and will grind these guys for experience, some people won't, but I like to let the people actually go for the full kill. Ah, it's no problem to me. <laughs> I vaguely know what's wrong with it, no worries. Heck, I dropped loot, and I do need to heal, so I'll go ahead and plow through a couple of my starfish. Let's see what I got. Beast leather. How useless. Um, for me. <laughs> Someone later in the market is going to be happy. <laughs> Won't be me, because they're probably going to buy it off me cheap. So someone is going to be happy. Yeah. That means. Um, you may have noticed I grabbed these red potions. That's one of the newer potions. It's a potion of life. It heals 8 health and gives an extra 6 defense. Um, you may notice I'm taking on like combat level 130s, combat level 115s. And I'm barely taking all that much damage. I'm kind of lagging, so the spells aren't really 
disappearing all that fast. But, you know, you're seeing what's going on, and yeah. I used to grind on these guys, actually. The, the I think these are Ice Wyverns? Yeah. Combat level 110. So, yeah. I used to... <laughs> I used to chill out here. Um, no pun intended initially, and then I realized what I was about to say and kind of giggled. <laughs> 